Well, a lot of credit to St. Francis. Obviously, they had a terrific season being able to win their regular season championship. And I thought they came in here and, you know, in particular, um, you know, in, in particular, um, you know, Jamal King really played well that first half. You know, he was fantastic. And uh, he got them going. And at the end of the day, defensively, we weren't very good. And then, you know, we were very apprehensive on offense. And I think that happens at times, you know, when you play this first game. You don't really know how, to, how it's going to go. It's a different feeling. And we looked that way in the first half. We did a better job in the second half. And Juwan clearly established himself. And that's what we needed to do, you know, pretty much the entire game. Some other guys stepped up and made some plays. Al was very good tonight. Uh, Devontae <laughs> continues to make some good plays. Justin got on the, on, the, on the glass a few times. But, you know, more importantly, the first one is down. You feel a lot better to kind of get into the tournament now. And uh, Providence and Arkansas will be a much different feeling on uh, probably Thursday. Archie, what did you appreciate most about how your guys played here tonight, especially in that second half? Well, the second half was much more like – you know, I'd like to think that we can be. Uh, I don't think we're playing very well defensively as a team here in this last maybe three games. We, we've sort of let our guard down. I don't think our perimeter guys right now defensively are locked in as much. And uh, we have to fight, figure a way out how to get that back, you know, because you're not going to score a ton of points, you know, every single game. And, uh, you know, the next one against Providence with their size or Arkansas with their quickness, which we've already seen this year, you know, they can give us a lot of different types of problems. So we're going to have to find a way to get that confidence level back on defense, that toughness level on defense, which at times in the second half we got it going, uh, but we're going to need it from the jump ball here kind of moving forward. Greg. Archie, about, about Juwan establishing himself in the second half, was that a, was that a point of emphasis of yours at halftime or, or, or his, or where did that come from? It came right from, from, from uh, you know, us, you know, our staff at, at halftime. We wanted to get it established in the first half. They played a lot of zone, and uh, he picked up two fouls, which took him off the floor. We were doing all right when he was on the floor in the first half, but he came out, it hurt us. Second half... I mean, there was a clear message to establish him with the new rules, with the fouls. You get 10 minutes. If you can pick up that fifth foul before the 10-minute mark, you go two shots every time. And that was much more the philosophy in the second half. And he wanted the ball. We got it in there to him. And that was a good sign. It was able to really neutralize sort of the game. We didn't have to shoot as many jumpers. And then the second one is how do you balance tonight? How did you? Whether to play Romeo, he's got the sore back. NBA draft stock, am I making too much of the calculus of the equation here, or is that all part of it? No, he tweaked his back early on in the Ohio State game. He dealt with it through the Ohio State game. And then post-Ohio State, you know, he's had multiple treatments a day, and he's not feeling very good, so he's uncomfortable. And if we played in the NCAA tournament tonight, he wouldn't have played. So I think that's one thing to state. Romeo would like to come back. There's short turnarounds right here with these games. So I don't necessarily know if one day is going to make a lot of difference for him. Maybe it takes us into that second week. But hopefully as he starts to feel a little better, he can start to move. He hasn't done anything since Ohio State on the court. But definitely in talking to Romeo, he wants to be out there and play. Uh, he's very uncomfortable with, with the alignment or whatever's going on with him, which popped, you know, sort of spasmed out on him during the Ohio State game. So we're hopeful we can bid him back. And uh, if it's short turnaround coming in on Thursday and he's still not able to do anything, he won't play. When he's ready to play, you know, obviously he'll get back to work and hopefully we have an opportunity to get him back. Mike. Archie, the, the tech at the end of the first half, um, what, what were you mad about? And it, did, it seemed to energize this crowd and really kind of sp spark you to start the second I just half. thought Rob went down I thought he got fouled and then I thought the play that came right back at him was no different I mean I didn't really see the difference in the call um, you know we'll see on film I think the officials at halftime you know kind of grouped and told me that Rob didn't get fouled so you know I got a technical